Hello, welcome fellow traders. AMP Futures here presenting another how to video. In today's video, we're going to demonstrate how to access the economic calendar using your TradingView platform. Now, in my opinion, it's always important to stay up to date whenever economic events are coming out. Sometimes these economic news events can have an impact on the markets you're trading or may not have any impact at all, depending on what markets you're actually trading. But it's always important to be in the know, have an understanding when these events are coming out. And TradingView has done an excellent job in integrating this calendar within their platform so you can easily access which economic events are going to be coming up very quickly. You have the ability to choose specific dates. You can look at every single day within the calendar month to see what events are taking place. So the first thing that I want to point out is on the right side toolbar, on the bottom right, right above the Help Center icon, you'll notice a little calendar icon here where it says Calendars. If I click this calendar icon, this integrates and opens up the economic calendar from within the TradingView software itself. Now, in a moment, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to access the economic calendar. If you want to look at it, let's say, for example, on a separate browser, maybe you might want to be able to see your full workspace on TradingView, but you want to be able to view the economic calendar on a different monitor screen. Let's say if you have a multi-monitor setup. But for now, let's just go ahead and demonstrate how it looks when it's integrated within the platform as we're looking at it right now. So once we click that economic calendar icon again it's the icon on the bottom right corner right above the help center button here and this is going to open up the economic calendar so let's go over a couple things that we see first so first off you can see here if you click this little calendar icon this is going to allow you to choose a different date range so by default it's about a week so you can see july 1st up into july 7th so for example if i select the 8th it's going to go from the 8th to the 14th and so forth so again you have the ability to select a date range of what economic events are going to happen within that specific date range. Also too, once you select a date range, you'll see here, it'll show you all the different days within that date range. So you can see the first, all the way to the second, and you can see on each date, how many economic news events there's gonna be earnings as well as dividends. So for example, on Wednesday the 3rd, there's 89 economic news events that are gonna be released on Wednesday the 3rd. If I actually click the icon of Wednesday the 3rd, Notice now it takes me automatically to July 3rd, and now I can see all the different news events and, and economic events that are going to happen on that specific date. Not only do you see that as well, you also have a, a topic, a subject of the actual event itself, and you'll see a little drop down to the right of it. If you click this little drop down, this will actually give you the details of that specific economic event as well. Now, if you're only interested in saying, for example, seeing economic events for specific countries, you can also allocate and change the filter for different countries or for different economic events that are happening for different countries. On the top right corner here where it says G20, you can click this here. And then by default, you can see top 20 uh, economies are actually selected by default. So if you only want to see, let's say, specific countries, then you can go in and just choose the specific country in the list. So let's say, for example, USA. Uh, let's just say, for example, uh, let's just add a few more here. Let's go down the list. Uh, let's do European Union. Germany and France. So once you start clicking them, you'll see that all those little country icons will be added here at the top. And once you have all the specific countries that you're only interested in seeing economic events for, then you just want to hit the apply button here. And now moving forward, you're only going to see economic events that are related to the specific countries that you set in the filters. And you can also see the icons here on the top right corner. Now, if you ever want to go back and make modifications to those different filters, all you need to do is click back here. And then you can go back and do the same exact thing. So you can either select top 20 economies, which is the default setting, the entire world. Or if you just want to remove some that you've already added, it's simply just clicking this little X here. Or you can just hit clear, which will automatically clear out the filter. But this is going to allow you to basically tailor out what countries and what economic events that you want to see within your economic calendar. Again, you'll be able to select your date range. You can also change your time zone. So for right now, I have it currently set to Los Angeles time. Of course, you can set it to any time zone based on your preference. And then you have the ability to, see the, to view the date range and, and what economic events are on those specific dates. And you can also choose the different category groups as well. So right now, we're only looking at economic events. I can look at earnings, revenue, as well as dividends. So again, if you click the specific category group, you'll notice that there's always going to be next to the topic of the event itself. There'll be a timestamp when it's going to happen. And also you'll see a little indicator here. If you look, if you notice closely, you'll see there's a little measurement of importance. So usually one bar will represent low importance, two, bar, two bars will be medium importance. And if you see one with three bars, for example, here, the inflation rate year over year, you can see this is high importance. You also have an allocation button here where you can actually show only the high importance uh, economic events as well. So if I click it, now you're seeing only the important economic events specific to the countries that we selected in the filter. To deselect or disable 
only of high importance, just basically deselect that option. And notice now you see all the actual economic events. Then he also had this little section here on the bottom, on the top right here, which is all categories. So by default, all categories is selected. But let's just say, for example, you're a bond trader. You're only interested in seeing economic events that are related to bonds. So you can select bonds and you can now only see specific economic events that are related to bond topics only. Again, by default, it's all categories, but you have the ability to choose different particular category groups for all the different economic events that are available within your economic calendar. And then the last thing I want to show you is we've showed you the integrated view of the economic calendar within TradingView. I want to show you now how to access it on a separate browser tab because sometimes when you open up the economic calendar, it takes up a lot of your workspace, as you can see here. So maybe you want to be able to see your full workspace. You can still use your platform for trading but you still want to be able at the same time see those economic events on a different monitor screen or not necessarily on a different monitor screen, but maybe you just want to tab over to a different browser tab and see the economic calendar on its own separate tab. So first thing you're going to want to do is open up a different tab and make sure you go to tradingview.com. Once you're at tradingview.com, obviously you got to make sure you're logged into your, your tradingview account, which you already are. Then you want to click on products and you'll notice within the context menu here, you'll see calendars. And once you select calendars, now you have more of a full view of the economic calendar in a browser, which you can see now I can just tab the tab if I want to go back to the platform, and I can go back to my economic calendar in its own browser tab. And again, the same exact thing, you'll be able to choose you know, your date range, you'll be able to filter out what countries you want to see, you'll be able to change your time zone, you can select high importance um, economic events that you only want to see as well as allocating which category groups as well. And again, the most important thing really is understanding when these economic events will happen. You'll see the timestamps on the left side. And if you notice here on the right, uh, right to the right of the actual subject name of the economic event, there's always going to be a little arrow. So anytime you collapse that down, this will allow you the ability to launch a chart, see an overview of that economic event and even add it to your own personal calendar. So if you're using like a calendar on Google, for example, you'll be able to integrate this particular event into your calendar so you'll never actually miss that event. So this is a really cool feature that TradingView has integrated into your platform and you can also view it in a browser format as we just did now. And this is how you access the economic calendar events using the TradingView platform.